Hold up. Listen. Are we okay? A lot faster if we could ditch the gear, blow the site. Negative. Aldrich doesn't want to leave a bigger footprint than we already have. Roger that. We'll get it done. Over and out. That one's mine. Cover me. We need to secure the area. On it. Got any more buddies? They're in the wind. Feels like I ought to get a tetanus shot once we're out of here. The warhead must have gone into this elevator. Podvanaibokta. Shit. Which goes straight down to a submarine bay. That must be how he's getting the nuke off the island. How do we get down? Looks like the red service line on the ground will lead there. <sighs> red. Of course it's red. What do we do now? Can't exactly knock and ask him to give the nuke back. No. But I can hotwire those doors till I get them open 30, 40 seconds tops. All right, I'll cover you. Christ, Matt, was that you? Uh, maybe. Mother I ought to let him shoot your ass. I said maybe. Either way, it's probably going to get real popular around. Just get the goddamn door. Take it over. Shite! Fuck! Oh, 
Full of shit, right? Yeah, of course he is. Full of shit, right? Yeah, of course he is. You heard what they did at that CIA shop. How they got that plan? I don't want to die in this goddamn bunker. We won't. In ten minutes, you and I are gonna go on a routine patrol. Then we'll ride this out in one of those access tunnels. You, you gotta stay cool until then. Wait, yeah. I'll catch him.
Jesus Christ. They never got it done. This thing couldn't launch Fidel into Khrushchev's asshole. God bless you, Jack Kennedy. The silo goes down a few levels and connects to the submarine bay. That's where we'll find Aldrich. See what I can do. This will take us to the submarine bay. You doubting my ability to translate Russian? Hell yeah! I'm absolutely doubting it. You little faith. Yes, he shit. Get us.
Was that you? Maybe. God damn. I said maybe. Shit. You never were able to see the big picture, Johnny. Uh, you're in. Well, that's all they're done for. Finish. Finish this. I'll be outside. <coughs> you're like, 
You're like a goddamn cockroach, you know that? <laughs> what the fuck were you thinking? <clears throat> Aiding a sworn enemy of the United States. In wartime, no less. <sighs> NVA are no enemies of mine. <coughs> Same with the VC. And that's why he decided to murder thousands of American soldiers with that goddamn nuke? How many soldiers we got scattered around all over there? Most of them were scared shitless. They could give two fucks about any of it. They just want to make it home alive. The problem is they get home and their heads are all scrambled. Or maybe they find their girl humping on some fucking asshole who got a deferment for heel spurs. So, you were doing this for the soldiers, is that it? And what about the money you were hoping to make? What was that for? <laughs> to ease your conscience? <laughs> we both took off the talk, it never happened. It's a bunch of bullshit dreamt up by the NSA. Talk to me about killing American soldiers. Brother, the fucking US government's been doing that. Mm. And for what? God, I used to admire you. Thought you represented everything great about this country. But you are just as greedy and selfish as everyone else. There are no dominoes, Johnny. Vietnam falls. Who gives a shit? It's a fucking backwater. Everybody's living in goddamn huts. And half of them don't even have shoes on their fucking feet, for Christ's sake. At least my way had a chance of ending things. Are you finished? It appears so. Come on, let's get that warhead out of here. The elevator doors, I got them. Time to blow this pop stick. Get in. What the hell are we gonna do with this thing? Just trust me. Oh, afraid you were gonna say that. Hey, we're ready. Bring the bird around. Moving into position. So that's your bird. Didn't I say trust me? moment of your feet.
I don't mean to pry. Will you mind telling me who just flew off with the nuke? Oh, that's Gary. He's a great guy. You'd love him. Oh, Gary. Who the fuck is Gary? <laughs> He's a man who knows people. He'll probably even manage to squeeze a reward out of the Pentagon. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut you in. <laughs> oh, goddamn. I'm famished. Hey, how about we stop for some shrimp po' boys? Ugh, I'll pass. What's the matter? Your weak-ass constitution can't handle some stick-to-your-ribs grub? That shit's practically a culinary disembowelment. <laughs> okay. How about we stop for some ice cream before I go talk to Marshall? Oh, ice cream? Now, who the fuck am I, your girlfriend? Hey, man. Dress fit. <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> yeah, sure, now he's got a sense of humor. You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off exploring the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's got to have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork. It's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino. Thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him. Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, offer him an out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs>